Hi, my name is Callie Chappelle, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining how you can install R and RStudio onto your computer. This video is part of an introduction to R tutorial for the Bio 47 class at Stanford University. This class is the introduction to research in ecology and evolution and was taught in the spring of 2020. So what is the difference between R and RStudio? Well, R, you can think of as a programming language. Really, it's just an interpreter that can you can write into that essentially translates your code into some operations, but we're not going to get into those technical details in this video. You can use R, um, you can code in R from the terminal or the command line without using RStudio, but we'll encourage you to use RStudio, which is an IDE or an integrated development environment. This essentially allows you to use R in a much more user-friendly environment. Now, you cannot use RStudio without having installed R first, so the point of this video is to teach you how to install both R and RStudio. So I just want to give you a quick comparison of R from the command line versus using R in RStudio. So if I open up the terminal on my computer, you can see the terminal is opening here. Uh, it'll open in here in a second. After everything's good to go, I can type in R and it'll open R here. So it's got some information about what version of R I have installed on my computer. I actually already have R installed, but you, if you don't have it installed, of course you wouldn't see this. And I can type in to code and code different things in R um, in the command line. But you might not want to do this because this is quite hard to use. If you haven't used the command line before, you can't point and click anywhere and you can't save anything very easily. So instead, we're going to encourage you to use RStudio. Now in RStudio, and I'll show you uh, how to use the interface in a, in a different video, but essentially you can use all of the same things that I just showed you from the command line inside of RStudio and there's a lot of other nice functionality. So let me explain how you can do that. So as you can see here, just a reminder, this is what I saw from my terminal. This is what I saw from RStudio. So you can install both of these things at these two sites here. Um, you're gonna install R here at this CRAN site and RStudio from the RStudio website. Uh, so with no further ado, let me just show you this. So here we go, so here's the R site. So what you wanna do is click download R for whatever um, operating system you're using. So I'm using OS X since I'm using a Mac computer right now. So I would click on this, then I would follow the instructions when it downloads. And after doing that, you wanna install RStudio. You'll wanna uh, select RStudio desktop and I'm gonna do that right now. So here we go, we're gonna install RStudio desktop. We don't need RStudio desktop pro for right now. And we'll choose our version. So our version is going to be this one. So I'm gonna choose download, and then I'm going to choose download RStudio for Mac and then follow the instructions. If you have any issues, don't hesitate to email your TAs if you're in the class um, and we can give you help uh, for installing these 